This video will show you just a few of the new things in the Moodle 2.4 version that Marion Local will upgrade to as soon as school's out. So when you look at it, not a lot different right here. First thing I'll point out is on your blocks, you have two buttons at the top. The first button allows you to hide the forum's block. It'll just leave the title and none of the data underneath it. Another thing you can do, of course, just like we do now, is you can move them to the dock over here to the left, and you can move them back. So that's nothing really different there. Uh, once you turn editing on, you can move your blocks just by grabbing them. Whenever you get the four directional arrow, you can click and drag and move them. Same thing for the content section. When you get the four sided arrows, you can click and drag and move them around. So that's fairly easy. Something else um, you're going to notice in each content area, there's two little icons over here in this sidebar on the right hand side. The first one lets you highlight this topic as the current topic, which is kind of nice. So if you have a lot of topics showing for your students, but you really want to draw their attention to one area on a particular day, you can highlight that one. And when you're done, just click and it looks like the rest. And then you do not have an add an activity and add a resource. You just have one option that says add an activity or resource. And your choices, activities are listed at the top. You may see some different ones, but I'll cover that in another session. And then your resources at the bottom. I'll just click and select the label feature and I'll add it and I'll just put in my example label and I'll go down to the bottom and save it. And with that one in there you'll see the icons don't look a great deal different. You can still indent them or bring them back. The moving is a little bit nicer. Just click and drag. So I kind of like that feature. The update icon used to be the hand with the pencil, now is this little gear, and when you click on it, it takes you to the update screen. I'm not sure if we had this one right here before or not. This is called the duplicate, so if you click on it, you can tell it, make me another one just like this. This is, of course, the delete, your hide, and your groups. So, fairly nice. Um, nothing real big right now. The one feature so far that I have found to be new that I just love, I'm going to resize my window here. What you can do is if you have to upload a file like a Word document, a PowerPoint, a PDF, or whatever it might be, you can just grab it and drop it wherever you need to drop it. It'll say add files here or here, wherever you go. I'll just drop it there. Boom, there's my Word document. Isn't that nice? I see some of you smiling. I can, in my mind, I'm seeing some of you smile because of that one. One other new item is when you have your activities or resources listed and they're on the course page, you can actually edit the title instead of having to go back into the update. You can actually edit the title from right here by clicking that little pencil, the first one that says edit title, and you can change it right there. So that's a little bit nicer too. Okay, more stuff coming up in future tutorials.